Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Just give me a quick mouthful of water. I found this. It's got leaves, but I don't think I'll use it because I've already got those ones there. <laughs> it's all that sort of thing, you know, you can use if you can find them. Go have a look in the cheapy shops. Actually, instead of going and looking at the, um, I'm in Australia, and, uh, and I'm just, you know, trying to get on with this <laughs> faster pace than usual because I need to, to get done before it gets too hot in here. Um, I, I'm going to put orange on that one. Oh God, it's me, don't run away from me. Stay there. Um, but I'm not going to use the orange one. What am I talking about? Where's the green bit I had? I had to, I'm going to have two green pieces and not that one. I'll have that orangey colour and I want it a yellowy colour. So I need one that's not something with a little bit of a tear in them. When you pull them apart, you've got to be careful. That's a very nice bright one, isn't it? Like those. Now we're back on this piece because we're going to do a bit more on here because it was nice playing with that one. It's nice fun. So I'm going to poke that under there, I think, a bit. There's a little split in it. Like, what, further than what that a bit there is. Push it under there. I'm sorry about the fan. And I don't. I want it to overlap a bit. It's best if it overlaps because it gives it some sort of, I don't know, interest, I guess. If I stick that there, don't put it in the, don't put it in the little leaf because that's I'm going to break it. It's going to break the little leaf. Now this is not exactly the same as that, but it's a sort of matching sort of colour, sort of colour. And I'm going to do the French knots in this one on this little flower, like I did in that one there yesterday. Okay. And um, we've got limited time here because it's starting to get warm. And so forth but anyway the weather's just going to get better it's not going to be as hot next week it is autumn now but i think we're still going to have warm weather it's still going to be a little bit warm now i'm going to go in here and i'll fasten this one down the same way that i did the other one i put sort of a little cross of um i went across in these little bits here to hold that down and plus to give it a, a feature of what that is <laughs> just holding it holding it on there and them out here in between your petals go down in there now if you didn't see the one that I did before this you might have to go back and I'll talk about what I'm doing to a sort to a bit of a degree. I've talked about what we're trying to do. We're just doing we're doing um, fun things, okay? <laughs> That's all I can say. It's good fun. Now we're gonna put a knot here, a little French knot on the end. I've only got one strand of thread, so I'm gonna do three wraps of that, just so you can see it a bit, okay? Because I think that looks good. And then go over here. So this I've decided that I'm going to be covering the whole, all of this. I'm just gradually going to work my way across there. I was probably thinking I might do a journal cover out of this, but I don't know yet. Might not be big enough. I'm making it on a piece of um, linen that's been not, I don't think it's actually been See how that's joined together by a big machine? I liked the, the texture on that, so I thought I'd work on that, but I haven't decided yet, yet what I'm going to put back up the top there because I took a bit off there. I didn't like them leaves that I had on it, and that happens, and if you don't like something, you can't keep going forward with it. Now this I'm going forward with because I'm liking what I'm doing here. Come on, get off there, you, please. Get out of that. Right there up here and I'm not going to go through the green bit if I can help it the green petal because I'll make it a bit too thick and that's okay because that works like that it works without me doing that push him down 
So these are the kind of flowers that all grow together. <laughs> you know, all the pretty colours. Be. But I'm trying to stick with these orange and greens because I'm liking both these colours that I'm working with. Is that three wraps? Yes, very good. There you go. I think I like it. In fact, I'm sure I do. And a little bead needle out of the way for a minute. And there's a bit of thread from that one that I have to. I was going to fasten it down and I tried and tried to thread it for ages but now it's um, fastened down with the other cotton so now I can end that off and take cut that off with my giant scissors because I don't have any small ones here managed to take them all out to the other part of the house now let me see where's another bit of I think green another green one do you reckon yeah yes I'll do another green one Looks nice, doesn't it? Bit of green thread in this one here, I think. Don't want to unthread my orange needle just in case I might need it. We've got one strand. I don't know. It's got a number on it. Look at that. It says 522. Two. Look, there we are. It's all caught up and everything. Been rolled around there it's probably since the year dot. can see what the brand was. That's the colour, and I really like that colour. It's nice, isn't it? And I've got to finish my leaves because I want to do another leaf there. Then I want to show you. What's the other thing? I've got? Oh, this one here too. I've got this bit here that I might put him on there as well. We're going to go all over the place with bits, aren't we? We're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. I like that. I just need more be more, more inspired by I suppose and make those what's the name's bigger those leaves there might even have to take them back out that seems a shame <laughs> I don't waste me cotton <sighs> did forgot to do or not I forgot to do or not well the thing was I wasn't going to do a lot of embroidery on here unless it was on the pieces that I was adding to it and I want to put this here put it down in the over the edge of it a bit so it looks like it could be connected to it maybe it is maybe it isn't look at that i just have to spin that around because i did my stitch the wrong way i took it down the wrong way this is a big needle i've got here goodness me to the center and back over here back to the center I think I'm quite making it to the centre here. What have I done? Oh, that's no, all right. Nobody panic. Let me get that. So for 40 years, I've been waiting for <laughs> I've been waiting for this town to put in a indoor heated swimming pool. So they said. They should be, it should be ready by the middle of next year. I'm still hoping and I'll be there, I'll tell you. Because on near there, at the same complex, they're going to have Spotlight, which is, as well as you will know, if you're in Australia, our main, one of our only craft stores, well, not only, but to me it is, because where we live, we don't have it choices. So it will be exciting. Getting there is going to take me a couple of minutes on my go because it's on the edge of the town, on the other side of the town. I'm on the edge of this part and it's over that way. But there's a highway and a railway to, to, that I have to um, clear to get there. So, But I'll be there. You don't have to worry about that. As long as they build me another pathway to it. Um, and that's exciting because I've I seen the thing, I looked at the thing this morning and it planned. And they did approve it ages ago, but it takes a long time then to do, they had to do something else like fix up where the road was going to be because it's going to be off the highway. Um, and I don't know, you know how they have to do those sort of things for surveys and things like that, I suppose. And 
to get it done. I was in a spot where there used to be a drive-in years ago, so that's going to be there with a big shopping, there's supposed to be a big shopping complex there as well to sell furniture and foods and things, so that should be good. Might be able to go for the day, <laughs> have a swim and lunch and then go to spot. <laughs> good idea, <laughs> I don't know about that. Anyway, geez, I've got a mess on the back of there. We don't worry about that though, we just, you know, we've got, as long as we've got it neat on top, I need to fix this. I need to put more there or take it away. Take it away, put more. What about if I stuck that there instead? What do you think about that? Uh, maybe that can go up there. I don't know what I'm thinking, to be honest. To be honest with you, I don't know. Gee, I might have to put this on here and put some stitches around it. I think I might have to do something about that. I can take it undone without ruining the whole thing, I think. I think I can. I'll just take it back undone what I did. Because I don't think that it's quite the thing for this piece. And if I don't fix it, I won't do any more because I won't like it. And that's not good, is it? We don't want to hold up progress. Okay, you get that bit. I don't know why, but I think I, this is not what the plan wasn't to have this here. I just wanted a leaf of some sort. I have got some. I have to find them to add to it so I'm going to, while I'm taking this out I'm thinking about how I'll add that yellow thing that I had in my hand um, and then I'm going to look for those leaves while these are not here I'm going to search for my leaves they were come, they were made, come off of flowers I think I've got a bit of an idea where there might be some but I don't want to hold you up and, you know I don't want to be mucking around there with it for too long this takes much longer, that won't be good either. But it's going to ruin my plan if I don't take it out. Isn't it? I've actually seen someone else take something out here not long ago and I thought, oh, good on you, you know. <laughs> it has to happen, you know, you can't leave it there if it's not right. This is very disheartening. Now, I do have a little thing to talk about which I forgot to say in the last video. I am so excited about all you lovely ladies that have joined me on the Facebook page that we opened. I feel really bad because a couple of people have asked, have um, wanted to put up things that weren't to do with sewing. And I'm sorry I had to decline that because it's just not the, the thing, okay? I'm sorry about that. The things you wanted me to put up were really nice, but I couldn't do it, so I, I'm, I'm so sorry about that. Um, everybody, come on, let's put up some more stuff. Have you seen all Moxie's things? She's been a busy lady. By gee, she's got a lot of stuff up there. And it's really nice of her to show us all the good things. I'm really, you know, every time I say, oh dear, this lady, she's a very talented lady. So, all you other girls are too. You can show me some more stuff, okay? And yes, Moxie, you keep going. You've got lots of things up there. You've got any more, just be feel free to put it all up there because it's um, it's nice to see other people's work um, and see what's out there that you can do and, and learn and things like that. I don't think she's got a channel. I don't think she never said she did. She probably should have, though, so she can show people bits of stuff that she's doing or fluff everywhere. Anyway, so that's gone. Oh, that looks better. It's gone, isn't it? Look, doesn't look much better that that's gone. So do we need to put that in there? I'll have to think about that. I'll have to have a small mouthful of water because I'm doing a lot of chatting away. And you come back and you look at that and you think, oh, no, that's not right. Sonia. <laughs> that's not right. That's scaring me now. Righto. Give me one second, I'll just have a, a little sort down here because I think I sent this box down here the other day. And I might put the leaves in. I did, I think I've seen it. Come on, here we go. I've got a, I've got a box. Could be. There's some flowers in here. Uh, so it wasn't that far away from me after all. 
These weren't the ones I was thinking about though, but these are what I wanted to use because this is what I pulled apart a long time ago. I'll have to hold them down. Put a pin in while I fish out some more. Now see, all you've got to do is get yourself some flowers like this, for example. I got these from Dollar in this packet here because I thought well, I could pull them apart, and you can. You can take them apart. Just do that. Pull that bit out, and you've got this one of those. I'm not saying that's one I'd use because it's a little bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> but you can. I've, done, I've in the past pulled these bud things too. These these are good to do. These bud things look. Oh, this light was a rose. It was a rose. I like the colours on it too. Look at that. They're going to go good. And it'll come apart. You just give it a little bit of encouragement. And you can get it to pieces. And then you'll have this. Which I got for these for hardly any money. I don't know where, but I know that were very expensive. Mum seems awful late the day. Anyway, we're getting after the lunch time now, yeah, so oh, come on, get off there. Righto. So there he is. Get all the mess off him. There's only a bit of glue and fluff and it'll come off. A bit of There we go. Look at that. We've got that one. And there's another one. And then just as you go, of course they get smaller towards the centre. And if you got if they've got any glue on them, you could heat it up, but you need to be careful. Most of the ones that I've done I haven't come across the glue. And then we can have here's a really nice one too. Look at that. I like him. You can get these, but they're paper. They, you know, they're paper one that you can buy. They're not not starting out as a flower, but you can buy the flower leaves. I think you can anyway. They're already pulled apart off the flowers. Um, I've got a few of these ones because I've pulled a lot of those ones apart. So that's look at that, isn't that nice? They're pretty, aren't they? So we're going to find something. Which is not, not a leaf in here to be seen. Only different sorts that I don't want to use, of course. It's usually the way, isn't it? Did I put that in there? I didn't remember doing that, but I put it unless it's another bit of it. These are the idea. I know. So that one there is going to be a bit of the picture, I think. I like him. Actually, they aren't. The, there's, there's some there the same. I've got more. Okay. Come on, let's go back on. Come off there. Come on there. Right now. So I might have to eliminate that for a minute. Might use this one here. I like it. I do like that one. It's nice, isn't it? And that one. I do like these. But if we want to put them on there, we've got to do it as some sort of a an idea. No, we we just can't be on there willy nilly. Actually, this is this is a bloke. I think this might be the fellow that I want to use. They're going to end up all over the place, but anyway. And if I do that one, then I can just add other things to it as we go. Might just put a couple of beads in that there to start with and finish that bit. So I've got the bead needle here. I'm going to put a bead in there. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do that top bit yet. There must be something out there I can put on it, eh? <laughs> well, we're hooked up a bit, and I've and I've doubled this over, and I don't know why I did that, but anyway. And probably I could use these little. They're not little; they're a bit bigger beads than I'm usually liking. Maybe they might be too big for in there or not. I don't know. They're good size. So what colour will I put on? Orange ones in there. Yep. 
and over there. So we come up behind here and we'll add a bead to the centre. There's going to be more work on this, more sewing on this, okay? So if you just um, give me a chance, I'll get back to it and show you what else we're going to do because I'm caught up with a lot of stuff at the moment as you well know I would like to do things though it keeps me busy keeps me busy another orange one out of here these are good, these are coming in handy Good. I've put two. I've put two threads through it. I want to make sure that it's for sure. And when you pull it through, do it tight, but don't break it. You know, just be careful. You don't want it broken, all right? So I just put that through there, and we got him. Okay. I hope that Marlon brings my bead needle soon because I've been waiting for a lot, long time for my bead needles. Mine are all turning around. It's crooked and I've got to figure out how to straighten them out. There must be some sort of idea and I know that you'd have to um well I put the same colour in there. He's actually bringing that to the door that mama. He's knocking on the door now. <laughs> and that one can go in the middle of there, okay? So that sounds like a plan, doesn't it? He brings the mama to the door when it's I don't know, it must be important or something. <laughs> but, um, it's a bit of him to do that, I suppose. Oh, dear, it must be something for me. It is. Is that mine? Are you sure about that? Hubby's brought it to me. Oh, let's have a look, people. What did I say I wanted? Me needles in this big packet. <laughs> really? Yeah? Okay, let's look. Probably is, you know. I suppose, I suppose yeah, they are too. Look at this, I've got my needles in this packet that is <laughs> that big. But you know, probably that's a good idea because I was thinking they'd be floating around the bottom of somewhere. <laughs> so I bought these off Amazon. Oh, isn't this exciting? They're cruel embroidery needles, three to nine, and they are from France. And these are size 12, 10 to 12, oh dear, I usually use the 13, but that's okay, that will work, that's good. And I'm going to show you, hopefully, these, what are these like? What are these like? These have got a good size hole in them, look. So you can thread the, oh, that's good. Look at that. Isn't that nice? So these are, oh, I might have to get some more of those. I'm, um, so I've been buying some needles a fair bit lately and haven't been able to get, even the little tiny ones have got real big hole in them. So these are on Amazon, and the reason I've been shopping on there a fair bit is because I get free shipping because I have the, there's 15 on there, and they're called Bohine, Bohine, Bohine France, and they're cruel embroidery needles, three to nine size. I might go and get another lot of them later, because I've been buying whatever I could find up the street here, and there was nothing that was working for me that good. The bead needles I've... Um, I've been buying at a cheapy shop. Maybe these ones won't bend as much. I don't know. But then got a, they've got a good size hole in them too. So we'll be looking after these. Well, well we will always look after our needles, but we'll, we'll still be hang, hanging on to them because the ones in here, look, at they're around the corner. These are, these are really badly bent. <laughs> you can see that. Look at that. So um, this morning I picked out that one there that I'm using now. Between these pa these two packets cost me nine dollars, but that's okay because I pay usually pay four or five for that, and that's the same for these. They're not cheap. But these are good, and I'm excited, so I'm hanging on to them. I need something around the outside. I don't know. I'll probably put put elastic band on there. Only oh, here they are. I'll be there. I've got elastic band here. I'm going to put one on around that because I don't want to lose my needles. I did say to Jeremy they're probably floating around the bottom of the. Um, what's the name? Van somewhere with a delivery <laughs> delivery van. They probably I should probably put something on that. Is that one coming right through? Look at this one. This is one of those ones that you divide down the centre. 
and you can, and I don't like using them, but I have it anyway, just in case. I might need it for emergency purposes, I don't know. I'll put this around here. There we go. I've actually made a nice... Oh, oh, I'm so sorry for that. I didn't mean to hit it all, dear. I'm going to finish sewing this on. And then I might have to go. I didn't do a lot today on here, I'm sorry. But I did show you a couple of things. So, And we had a talk, OK? It's nice to have a visit with you. So I'm going to put this flower here on here somewhere. But then we need something else heavier in there. Could be that. Might not be. We'll figure it out for next time, OK? I like this. I do like that. Oh, that's a leaf, isn't it? That's a leaf. Nobody said it had to be a different colour than what it is, did they? Well, there you go. That might go in there. What do you reckon? Anyway, I think that'll look good. I do. I like that. Anyway, I'm going to end this off. And just, um, if you like, you can share with me, share my videos and subscribe to my channel. Give me, a, give me a like, a thumbs up thing. Um, and, yeah, there's just... Keep coming back and watching me because it's been really good. Thank you very much for that. I really appreciate everybody doing that for me. And look at these tiny, I've got these tiny little ones too that I have. And I have some of these in a blue and a yellow. And I'm going to have to find them because then I'm going to add more things like that to this and put more beads. I'm going to put more sewing on that. This is exciting. I'm looking forward to doing this. So I'll be back. I promise. Look at that. I love that bit. Don't you think that looks really cool? It'd be nice if you could see it, wouldn't it? No, I'll show you up there. Look at that. Does it look okay? It's going good? I don't know. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Stay safe. Bye-bye.